Southeastern Guizhou should be on everyone's list of places to visit in China. The rice terraced hillsides make for excellent hiking and there are endless villages to explore. This part of China is home to many ethnic groups and in this video we will visit the home of the Dong people. There are around 3 million Dong people and this, the village of Zhaoxing, is the largest of their villages. Zhaoxing is home to around 4,000 people and is a wonderfully friendly place to spend a few nights while you explore the village and the surrounding countryside. Hi guys, welcome back to Nick in China and welcome to Zhaoxing village in the east of Guizhou province. It's a, the largest Dong minority village in China and uh, it's a bit of a gateway to other towns around about as well. Dong villages are especially well known for their very unique architectural style, most notably in the form of the spectacular drum towers and the Fengyu bridges or wind and rain bridges. Zhaoxing, being the largest Dong village in China, has a number of both of these. So this is one of the many wind and rain bridges in uh, Zhaoxing. There are probably six or seven of these bridges across the river and it's one of the things that the Dong people are most famous for. These covered bridges are very beautiful. There's a lot of uh, making blue ink going on at the moment in this town and dyeing sheets blue. Um, like most of the ethnic minorities down here in China, there are thousands of festivals. Like you can't explain how many festivals, so I assume they're getting ready for some kind of festival. Um, yeah, very full calendar. And usually festivals are held in this place where I'm walking to right now. So the drum towers are another major feature of every Dong village, even if it's a tiny little village with just a maybe 20 or so houses, they'll probably have a drum tower. This town, being the largest Dong village there is in China, has five, five drum towers. And at the evening time, night time, is where everyone just hangs out, chills out, plays with their kids, festivals, celebrations, they're all held um, at these places. Beautiful buildings, I think that it's just such unusual architecture. Never seen anything like it before. So the village is believed to have uh, been here since the Song Dynasty, about the 1100s. Obviously not these buildings because they're made of wood and they wouldn't have lasted that long in this very, very, very tropical climate. But there's been a settlement here for about that long. They think, because it's all through oral tradition, that, you know, that we know this. Because until, well, after the, until the, basically the founding of the uh, People's Republic of China in 1949, there was no written language. Dong people had no written language at all. And then uh, it was in the 50s, um, some linguists came and figured out a language based on the uh, Latin alphabet which reflected uh, the, the local Dong language. So everything that actually we know a lot, the history is just purely through oral tradition. This is the main street in Zhaoxing. It's where all the action happens, especially at the nighttime. It's so busy, um, very lively, lively part of town. As you can imagine, it's noisy, full of people. Restaurants are massively overpriced, um, <laughs> but it's the uh, it's a necessary part of every tourist town in China. Souvenir stalls and people selling uh, overpriced shit. <laughs> it really is a very uh, pretty town to walk around, though. It's very, it's very very lovely. The main street kind of sucks, but uh, apart from that, all these little alleyways and stuff. And actually, if you just go off these alleys into the even smaller back streets, you know, it's still where... Uh, well, I don't want to walk around there too much with a camera and talk, because it's actually where people live. 
you know. Um, it's quite fascinating, quite a fascinating part of China. So the Dong people mostly live um, around the borders of this province, Guizhou, Hunan and also Guangxi province. But there's also a small population of Dong people or Cam people as they're known in their own language in, uh, in northern Vietnam. A lot of the uh, kind of what were traditionally Chinese ethnic groups moved south over the last couple of dynasties um, of Chinese history escaping well, the empire. I say a lot of these a lot of these places and um, particularly the Dong people and also the Miao people um, they were often a, a, at odds and at war with particularly the Qing dynasty. They do however have a pretty good relationship with Han Chinese people and the current government, the communist government, because during the Long March um, when the communists were fleeing the nationalists they came through Guangxi and the local tribes, particularly the Dong and the Miao, uh, really helped them a lot and actually fought together with them against the uh, Kuomintang, the nationalists. So the Dong people are particularly famous for their singing. Um, it's like a big choir. Uh, however, unfortunately, I did see kind of a bit of a bullshit performance, you know. But it was mainly kids screaming and people shouting through microphones. Whatever, man. Didn't blow me away. But I wasn't lucky enough to see, you know, the real thing, which is generally reserved for things like festivals or weddings or this kind of stuff. However, um, if I come back, perhaps I'll be more lucky and uh, have a chance to see that. I look a bit weary today, by the way, because the last few days I've really, really put in some, some miles on the old feet. I've been hiking a lot in this brutally hot, sweaty weather. Amazing walks though, really great walks, seen some just beautiful places. Had such a good time. Right. However, it is time for me to say goodbye there before this guy kills me in a boat. Good job I was paying attention, eh? Um, right, so I'll say goodbye there and I'll see you in the, the next video, wherever that may be from. Actually, I know where it's going to be from because I went there yesterday and I already filmed it. It's going to be from a little tiny village up in the mountains. Another Dong village, which is a walk out of here. Right, guys, take care. Stay safe.